how do you tackle the challenges that he does re that Donald Trump's candidacy continues to represent in a second once we leave YouTube which is just in a couple of minutes I'm going to ask you outright do you believe that Donald Trump legitimately lost that that last election in 2020 or fraudulently lost it but for now what does he do to you ideologically what is the challenge of dealing with a man like Trump for a Republican candidate Vivek well, first thing is, it isn't it a shame that we have to parse the conversation in this way? It just says a lot about where we are as a country and a culture right now. I'll share with you my perspective. I, I do think you only get to be an outsider once. Donald Trump was that outsider in 2015. And I think that his victory over Hillary Clinton in 2016 was the single most important political event of my lifetime. I'm grateful to him for it. It stopped the inevitable quasi-Marxist march through our government and through our other institutions. And I think he was a great president in many ways. But I'm looking to build on that foundation and take the America First agenda to the next level. And I, I'm not blaming him for this. I think it's just a fact that about 30% of this country, probably 30% of the developed world, becomes psychiatrically ill <laughs> when he is in the White House. And, and I can't explain it to you because I think a lot of what he did makes total sense to me. In fact, I'm saying many of the same things. In some cases, I'm going far further than he ever did. I've said I would use the military on our southern border. I've said I would shut down departments like the U.S. Department of Education, where he appointed figureheads to try to reform them. So in some ways, it's funny that I'm going further than he is, in some cases, saying the exact same things. But for whatever reason, maybe it's my age, maybe it's my background, maybe it's the way I say them, I'm not having that effect on people. And that will allow me to go further than Trump did, while also, I think, having the last best chance we have of uniting this country. And you know what? That gives me a sense of enthusiasm and excitement. A lot of people want me to sit here and bash Trump. I'm not going to do that. I respect him. I think he was a great president. I just want to build on that foundation to go further and i'm pretty happy i'm not i think other candidates might be frustrated for me <laughs> i'm in a different seat i was at not zero percent i was at 0, 0.0 percent <laughs> in march which is not that long ago when i got into this race i'm now polling a third in the republican primary we haven't even had the first debate yet so i'm actually pretty happy with how things are going i'm on the same trajectory that trump was in 2015 and in many ways i'm more similar to trump in 2015 then Trump today is to Trump in 2015. And I think that's exactly why we're going to win this election, probably in a landslide. And I think that's going to be the single most uniting event for this country.